Hey guys, this is EJ Holland with the Wolverine.com, and it was a great day for Michigan on the recruiting trail. The Wolverines have landed another talented prospect. Before we talk about that, I want to invite you guys to subscribe to the Wolverine.com right now for just $10 until next football season. That's $10 until August of 2023. For all your latest Michigan recruiting intel, team intel, basketball, basketball recruiting, you also get to be part of a great message board community on the fort. Make sure to subscribe to the Wolverine.com today. All right, guys, like I mentioned, Michigan picked up a big commitment from four-star 2024 tight end Hogan Hansen out of Bellevue, Washington, out in the Pacific Northwest. Now, Michigan doesn't historically recruit too well out there. The only prospect that really comes to mind recently was uh, Darius Clemens, but he was originally from Lansing, Michigan, so doesn't count as much. I think Hansen is the first true Pacific Northwest land uh, since I've been on the beat, unless I'm, uh, you know, missing somebody. But uh, Michigan's been trying to build a bridge out to the Pacific Northwest for a long while. They've recruited the state of Washington really hard. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about why Michigan can have success in that region. But let's hone in on Hanson as a player. Like I said, consensus four-star listed as a top 150 prospect on 24-7, a top 300 prospect on ESPN, a low four-star on Rivals. Uh, on three is the only recruiting service that does not have him ranked as a four-star prospect. So on three has him as a three-star, a little lower on him. But you turn on the film, man, and there's a lot to like about Hanson. Uh, again, he's six foot five, 200 pounds, so he's going to have to add weight. He's going to have to bulk up. And, you know, that's not too concerning, especially when uh, you have Ben Herbert, who develops guys in the Michigan Strength and Conditioning Program. Hanson fits the bill of as of the uh, tight ends that Grant Newsom has been taking here as of late, Deacon Tonielli, a taller flex end. Uh, Zach Marshall, not uh, as tall as Deacon, but still more of a flex end pass catcher. Both of those guys need to work on being in line tight ends and, and focus in on their blocking, but they're uh, superior pass catchers. When you look at Hanson, I think he's a little bit more of a complete tight end, even though he's only six foot five, 200 pounds. And I, I say only 200 pounds because again, he has to bulk up. Um, he's still a really physical blocker. He plays a lot of uh, in line at the high school level. When you turn on his uh, sophomore film, you see him putting guys in the dirt, getting some pancake blocks in. He's really good at down blocking, uh, getting to the next level. So this guy can block. I mean, it, it looks like he's very, very comfortable blocking, which is positive to see. He also plays some linebackers, so you know the physicality is there. Um, you know, route running out of the inline spot is, is really good. I think he's a guy that can also um, – do what he does best, which is catching the football, split out, uh, line up in the slot, line up on the outside. He looks like a natural pass catcher. I mean, there's a lot to really like about Hogan Hanson. I think he would be a great compliment to a guy like Brady Prescorn, who is the top overall tight end on Michigan's board right now. Um, but yeah, I mean, watching Hanson's uh, film, I mean, it's nonstop physical blocking, great athletic grabs. Uh, looks like he has soft hands. Looks like he's a, a very comfortable route runner out of the inline spot. Um, so I think this is a really quality quality land uh, for Michigan early on. And the Wolverines are off to a hot start, man. Um, four commitments, three of those commitments being four stars. Uh, Hanson obviously being the latest. You also have on 300 offensive lineman Luke Hamilton and on 300 linebacker Mason Curtis. So definitely a better start than the 2023 recruiting class. But going back to what I said, Michigan historically not too great at recruiting the Pacific Northwest, but that is a region that has been producing a ton of talent as of late, specifically the state of Washington. And Michigan does have a tie there with new Michigan Director of Recruiting Operations Albert Karshnia. Now, Karshnia recruited Marcus Griffin to Central Michigan uh, during his time there. And uh, Griffin was an offensive lineman uh, at CMU before going into the Pacific Northwest and becoming a really respected trainer out there. So he works with Ford Sports Performance, which is the biggest um, training program out there, Club 7-on-7 seven seven program, uh, ran by Tracy Ford, who is arguably the best high school trainer out west. Um, Griffin plays a big role 
in that program, which Hanson is a part of. And uh, I think you're going to see Michigan continue to target guys out of the FSP program, out of the state of Washington, that Karshnitai should help. I think Hanson's that first domino that Michigan really needed to get into that region. And FSP is home to uh, quite a few big-time prospects out of the state of Washington. Is Sendre Afua. Um, out of Seattle, O'Day is a top 100 offensive lineman. He visited uh, Michigan uh, last year and is high on the Wolverines. Braden Platt is an on 300 linebacker um, who is very high on Michigan early on as well. Kyan McDonald is a three-star cornerback who has high interest in Michigan. So, I mean, there are some guys out there that the Wolverines are in on, and, and Hanson can definitely help recruit to Ann Arbor. And I, again, think Karsnia, who's uh, caught a lot of flack, some warranted, some unwarranted, can definitely help Michigan in its pursuit of prospects in the state of Washington. But I think all eyes now at the tight end position turn to Brady Prescorn. Can Michigan keep the local product at home? He is an absolute stud for Rochester Adams. He remains a must land. I think when you look at Hanson, he is an awesome tight end to take but you still need to land the big fish, Brady Prescorn. We'll see if that happens. Uh, as always, guys, subscribe to the Wolverine.com today. Just $10 until next football season. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That is completely free.